Hi everyone, this is Gertler from Cape Town. I had so many requests by young guys, teenage guys, 16, 17, 18, 19 year old guys that asked me what must they do to build a muscle physique. So I decided I'm going to give, make this video which will give you a quick guide as to the things you need to avoid and the things you need to do to build a great muscle physique. Now many of the guys, even in their 30s and 40s, they still have not mastered the things I'm going to tell you in this video and they still struggle to build a muscle physique. So please listen to what I'm going to tell you in this video because if you apply these, the sky's the limit for you because your, your testosterone levels and your growth hormone levels is never going to be as high as it is currently in your, in your body. Make use of that. So let's quickly start. 15 things you should not do when you want a muscle fit. Number one, overtraining. You should not train more than six days a week. Okay, the, the, the best training regime, doesn't matter what your age is, the best training regime is when you train about five days a week, very intensely. Now the reasoning behind that is that your body, when you train five days intensely, the body needs time to repair the muscle damage that happened during the training and then to actually grow. Um, so if you train six days a week, you allow too little time in a whole week for your body to repair and grow. So the best regime is five days a week training, two days at least a week for recovery, repair and growth of the muscles. Number two, two long training sessions. Muscles do not grow in the gym. That is the place. They actually get smaller. They get torn down, they get damaged by the intense exercise and they're literally getting smaller. The only thing you do in the gym is to stimulate the muscles for growth. You put the switch on there, but they, it doesn't grow in the gym, it gets smaller. Never train a muscle when it's still sore from a previous workout. Your muscle growth occurs outside the gym when you're resting and sleeping. So how long must your training session be? I say never longer than 60 minutes at a time. Number three, junk food. What you eat is what you will be. Outside the gym, your muscles need the right food for growth. The junk food is not it. Number four, too little food. The problem is the body cannot grow when it thinks it's in a famine environment. When you eat too little food, what's going to happen is the muscles is going to be used for energy, not your fat storage. As a last resort, the body will start using its fat storage. So your muscles will get smaller and smaller and smaller. And only then will the body start using the fat storage. So you're doing a hell of a lot of damage to your body if you enter a famine type of environment. So be very careful of giving the body too little calories. You need enough calories that you give the body to allow it to realize it's not in a famine environment, so it can grow muscles, it doesn't need the energy from the muscles, it can actually get the energy from your fat storage. That is what we call the sweet spot. Number five, too little sleep. The most important ingredient to help your muscles grow is to get enough sleeping. No, not two to three hours a night. That's not going to work. At least six to eight hours at night. That is when your muscles really grow. Number six, bad form. Bad form with exercise will not stimulate growth. What it will do is open the door for really bad injuries. Never throw a weight. Always slow and controlled movement. Point seven, showing off at gym. Now I know you're young, you're on a high, <laughs> your ego and everything. I've been there, so I, I know the problem this presents. But the sooner you get your ego under control, the sooner you will start growing. Do not show off, because when you show off, number one, you're going to hurt yourself. Number two, you 99% of the times will exhibit bad form, and you will make your name an odds. Number eight, one of the worst things you can do is to listen to everything everyone tells you at the gym as the gospel. Be careful what you believe and whom you listen to. Verify the facts that somebody tells you before you actually do them. So always verify, verify, verify. Educate yourself. Point nine, training with the wrong gym partner. Now, 
having a gym partner not seriously focused in on his training sessions will hamper you tremendously in your efforts to grow muscle. If you if you have a training partner, he must add to your success. Never take away. Point ten: bad exercise technique and form. You need to breathe correctly when doing exercise. Your positive and negative moves of your exercise. Positive is a lifting part, negative is a dropping part. The positive and negative moves of an exercise needs to be at the same speed. And when, you, when you're at the top of the exercise, like for a dumbbell, you lift it up, you're at the top move, try and squeeze that muscle, just that little bit there before you're dropping the weight. Point 11, good bodies are never created through exercise machines. Get that into your head. An exercise machine, or machine bypass all the stabilization muscles in your body and when that happens you grow in an unbalanced way so you will quickly spot a guy that just continuously uses machines he never has an aesthetic look full stop so if you want an aesthetic look stick to the free weights the barbells the dumbbells the bench pressures and things like that point 12 never trust on supplements to be the answer to your body very very few supplements actually works. Yes, a very short list of uh, supplements that really got some good science behind them and that's been proven to work. Creatine, whey protein, branch chain amino acids, L-glutamine and maybe a caffeine pill or something similar to help you focus during your training. The rest, I'm sorry, that's money down an empty pit. Point 30, anabolic steroids. Hey guys, that's, that's not a good idea, especially at your age. you got more than enough testosterone and growth hormone running through those veins of you. Make use of that. Now, using anabolics, you really, really, really need to know what you are doing, number one. And number two, it will result in smaller balls. It will result in impotence and no sexual desire and a lot of other potential problems and hassles. So please stay away from it. If you really must do it, then only do it later on in your life after you already had your kids and everything. Point 14, alcohol. You want a rippling six pack? <sighs> now dude, let me tell you, alcohol is not gonna bring you a rippling six pack. Okay, regular use of alcohol, especially in men. What happens is that it, it, it creates a fat layer around your internal organs, your kidneys, your liver, pancreas, and all the other places, and so on. And that fat layer gives you a bloated tummy. And that bloated tummy is so difficult to get, a, get away. So if you do regular alcohol, you're going to have a huge battle to try and get a rippling or a rip cut, nice looking six pack. It's not going to happen. The maximum amount of alcohol you're allowed to drink if you want that six pack that's about equals to 500 milliliters of wine per week no good body was ever created by drinking regular alcohol no matter what the hollywood perception shows you last point point 15 training too light now the whole thing about growing muscles is that you need to stimulate your muscles to grow now stimulation for growth only happens when the muscles are challenged. If they're not challenged, they're not going to grow. That means you need to train to failure. That's a very good way of stimulating the muscle for growth. And you need to train regularly during a session to failure. You need to be slightly sore the next day. Not too sore because then there's actually quite a lot of damage that was done to the muscles. You need to be slightly sore the muscle groups that was trained the next day. If you never saw, you're not challenging your body enough for growth. That's a very key aspect that a lot of the young guys fail. They, they haven't got it in their heads yet. The amount of effort and intensity they must really put in uh, to reach failure, absolute failure with their muscle in a certain exercise to actually stimulate the body for growth. Now I've developed a, a very nice blueprint for young guys uh, that all these things and much 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 more your complete diet and so on customized for your body for your goals and everything so if you're interested in this blueprint um, I'll put the link on the screen have a look at that link and that will give you all the information and how to sign up and everything and so on 
but just by employing these basic principles that I've discussed in this video, this will really give you a great step forward in creating a muscle physique. So everybody, and all the young guys especially, Gertler from Cape Town signing off and I really wish you much success. Cheers.